My first guest tonight is in the award-winning film Slumdog Millionaire. Take a look at this. <laughs> Please welcome Dev Patel, everybody. Dev Patel. I'm fine, thanks. How Good. Are you? are you having a nice time with it? This Slumdog Millionaire is huge. It's a, you win the Golden Globes. Congratulations. That's awesome. <laughs> it's pretty unbelievable, to yeah. say the least. Yeah. I find myself slapping myself every day just to wake up. You don't want to do that. Yeah, not no. too hard. Not too hard. Don't obviously. slap yourself around. <laughs> what, are, what age are you? 18. 18? Yeah. God, and you're in the big Hollywood film. You've got to be careful. There are unscrupulous that? types out in Hollywood. <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah, because have you been have you been around? Have you had I've a, been you, around a bit, but everyone's been really pleasant so far. Yes, that's how they yeah. start. <laughs> I've been media trained, that's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, they start. <laughs> everyone's very nice to you and then suddenly All right, okay. <laughs> nah, you'll all be alright. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, you'll be fine. And the movie's a big it's a Danny Boyle movie. It is. Are you a fan it's of Danny Boyle? I'm a part? massive fan. Well man. you are now because London. you're in this film. No, 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 honestly, I've watched so many of his films and then to be honest, I did get all the DVDs and watch all the director's commentaries when I found out I was working with him. But did, you, did you have to audition for the job? Yeah, you? of course. Yeah. I mean, I was nobody before this, you know. I was just yeah. literally, I own the world because he, he took a fat risk in casting a kid from just a normal school. Yeah. And yeah, I, it was great because um, the first time I went and met him, I was like, God, I'm meeting Danny Ball. This is like Britain's best director. Yes, you're not, you're not, uh, you don't really have a very Indian accent, I was going to say. I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm born in London. Yeah, in yeah, no, yeah. yeah, no, yeah, no. Me, uh, Scotland, did the same thing. I, uh, <laughs> I don't have an Indian accent either. I, uh... No, you don't. Yeah. But you, 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 but you play someone with an Indian accent. Yes, in the I film. do. Yeah. yeah, which was really tricky, actually. Was it really? I'd yeah. imagine you. You know, don't you have no people with Indian? No, accents? that's the thing, because it's. Mumbai. I was doing a Mumbai accent, and the right. thing is, it's like a melting pot. Everyone from outside India goes to there. It's like the nerve center. Right. So I'd spend a week with Frida Pinto, the lead actress, and try right. and pick some stuff up, and then I'd spend another day with the guy playing my brother. Right. And he'll be like, why are you talking like that? I mean, that's wrong. What are you doing? Shut up. And I'd be like, oh. Hey, oh. hey, so, no, that's good for that kind <laughs> so, of talk. So, yeah. No, no. I just had to make my own accent up. Well, see, now that you're, a, the, the, you're in the big star, in the big movie star, oh, and you're doing the thing, oh, yes, you are. Yeah, absolutely. You <laughs> Yeah, no. Yeah. You have to, yes. There's a whole lot of things you have to do. You'll need to. You'll need to get into the Pilates. We'll need you in some kind of freaky religious cult. Uh, no, I need to go to the gym. That's what I need to do. No, don't. Uh, okay. No, don't do that. That's where they're waiting. All right. <laughs> You still live with your mum and dad, then? Yep. yep really? Still do. And you, yeah. That must be a bit odd. Film star, Golden Globes, or, or clean your room, Dev. Yeah, that kind yeah. of thing. It's like that. I mean, is it really? I'm out in India and I'm like treated like an adult, and I'm I'm the lead in Danny's film, and then I come back home and I'm like any 18 year old kid, annoying my sister, you right. know, getting told to do my bed, you know. How do you annoy your sister? I'm just yeah. I'm just really loud and loud. At home. Yeah. Oh really? What yeah. age is your sister? She's 22. Yeah, 22. Really? Yeah. And you annoy her with your loudness? With my loudness, yes. Is she a very acute no, hearing? No, it's fun. Because, I mean, I, that's the way I express my sort of brotherly love for her. Well, by, by being loud? By getting on her nerves. Well, don't get on her nerves. Yeah. You're 18 now. You're a grown yeah, man. You can't be getting Sorry. on your I'm going to grow up. Nerves. I'm going to grow up. Okay, okay, yes, sir. Yeah. So what, what are you going to do? Do you fancy doing an action movie or something like that? Me next? doing an action yes, film? Yes, come on. Um, um, <laughs> yes. Um... <laughs> I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, are you, have, you been, have you been looking around? Have you been meeting all the, the, uh, the directors and producers? I met and a few. Actually, I met Clint Eastwood, which was awesome. He's yeah. like the nicest guy in the world. He's so humble. You don't, don't get on his lawn, though. Oh. <laughs> all right. It was crazy. <laughs> he, you get on his lawn, he'll... He'll gun me down. Yeah. So I, I literally flew in from London and I, was, I arrived at the airport and I, had to, I got a call saying I had to go to this BAFTA tea party thing. BAFTA, and the British Academy of Film and Television Arts. Yes, and I hadn't changed or had a shower or anything, so I was smelling. That's all right, it's British, it doesn't and, matter. Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's and fine, just turn up, it's fine, don't I, even brush your teeth, just, <laughs> just go. And I turned up in trainers, right, and I met him and I was like, hello, Clint, Mr. Eastwood. And 
He's like, are you ready for a quick getaway or something? Because I was wearing trainers. And I was oh, like, oh tra yeah, sneakers, Thank yeah. you. And then he just started talking and it was really cool. Could you hear what he was saying? He's very quiet sometimes. He is. He's, um, he's quite quiet, yeah. He's very, um, he's deep from the lungs. Sort he's of deep from the lungs. He is yeah. deep from the lungs. It's true. <laughs> he, he's known for his lungs. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did one of my favourite movies of all time. Clint Eastwood directed that. You know the movie Unforgiven? I love that movie. Yeah, you yes, know? I do. Yeah. Yeah. You see that movie? I, I guess I have. I don't remember. No, it. no, you, you, you haven't. Because if you had, you'd yeah. remember it. I'd remember it. I guess, cowboy yeah. film. It's got the. Uh, but he's done so many. So. Yeah, well, yeah I suppose so. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'll be more specific then. It's the one where he where holds he's... a gun and wears a. No, cowboy it's the hat. one where he doesn't. <laughs> uh, the poncho. Oh, right. Yeah, okay, he doesn't cool. wear the poncho. Do you like, do you, do you ever wear a poncho yourself? Do I wear a poncho? Yeah, you ever walk around wearing a poncho saying, look at me, I'm a movie star. Do you ever do that? Not really. I'll be floating in it, so not really. No, no I don't know. I mean, you're dressed very uh, elegantly this evening. Elegantly? You? Yes. Thank you got you. the tie on and everything. It's all very yeah. nice. Well, yeah, cheers. Yes. Because when I was 18, I would only ever wear a tie when I was making court appearances. <laughs> Oh, actually, I do a bit of martial arts, right? And really? Um, yeah, I do. Yeah, that's the that's the lanky legs. I do this thing called taekwondo. Oh yes, and it's I've like, heard literally, taekwondo, it's like yeah. karate, but you use your legs loads more. Right. Like, kick people in the face. Right. And stuff. So, so, so it's nice that they're really they're chicken legs, in other words. So they're aerodynamic, so I can get them up <laughs> and stuff like that. Chicken, but anyway, back chickens to the can't fly. Back, chickens yeah. can't fly. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't Sorry. want chicken but legs. When, I don't know how I got from that to a tie, but um, yeah. So when right. you're a black belt, you have to start judging when you go to competitions and... Well, judging other people's legs? <laughs> <laughs> because I do that and I'm not a black belt. Well, I'm a black belt in leg judging. <laughs> I mean judging like sparring matches, fighting oh, matches. Really? And yeah, when you go to gradings, like when the little ones go to gradings to get new belts, you sit on the panel and write your right. review on their performance. And really? That's how they pass. So you have to wear a tie. So you'd be perfect for the uh, for the action movies then. You could do the Taekwondo in it. I guess so. Yeah. yeah. You could be like Taekwondo guy. <laughs> you know, you could witness a crime and then, you know, solve taekwondo. it. And then Taekwondo some people. <laughs> yeah. Do that 